Welcome to the Flight Path Tool, an interactive display that brings together all of the weather products available on the Aviation Digital Data Service. The main window of the Flight Path Tool has a large map area for viewing weather information, with an altitude selector on the right side. At the bottom are a time selection box and an overview map. The top menu of the display provides a wide variety of options to customize the view. By default, the flight path tool comes up showing wind speed. Here are the blue colors on the map, which are keyed to the color scale below the map. The default overlay is wind direction, indicated by wind barbs. The default elevation is 10,000 feet. The current clock time is indicated by the red line on the time bar. By default, data is shown closest to the current time. Notice that the map annotation indicates the best data available for the current time is a wind analysis. If you would like to see a wind forecast, move the time slider forward to change the selected time. The map annotation indicates that the wind data shown on the map is now a three-hour forecast. To turn off the wind barbs, click the overlays menu and uncheck the wind barbs item. To display a different weather product, click the weather menu and select a different product, say icing. To change altitude of the displayed data, click and drag the selected altitude in the altitude selector, or simply click a new altitude. With low altitudes, Notice the brown areas on the map that show areas that are below ground level at the selected altitude. There are three ways to zoom with the Flight Path tool. Double click on the main map to zoom in. Right click to zoom out, or on a Mac, hold down the Command key while clicking once. Alternatively, drag the edge of the display rectangle in the overview frame to define a new view area. Click and drag the center of the display rectangle to pan. The third way to zoom is to use the plus and minus buttons to the left of the overview to zoom in or out, or drag the slider on the zoom indicator. The map service for the flight path tool discloses features based on the displayed map scale, so more detail appears in close zooms. To reset the view to the original zoom, click the view menu and select Continental US. Explore the variety of products available on the Flight Path tool under the Weather and Overlays menus. For example, turn on METARs and use the Cursor Over feature to expose the raw text for each METAR on the map. The Flight Path tool contains some advanced tools such as mediagrams and flight paths that show vertical cross-sections of the data. Be sure to take a look at some of these great features. Thank you for your interest in the Flight Path tool and your support of the Aviation Digital Data Service.